Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Me, and uh, in this quick tip, I'm going to be talking about how we can quantize in Cinema 4D. Now, I'm, uh, I'm sure you all know that you can uh, move and rotate and scale and hold the shift button, and you'll kind of get it to snap to increments in its movement. So I've just set up a scene here, which is a cube, and uh, if we select our cube, it's a primitive, so I'm just going to make it editable. Um, you don't need to. To do, to do this but um, uh, I need it to be editable for the texture that I'll show you in a minute so as I said I can grab this cube and move it but if I hold shift the cube will move in 10 centimeter increments you can see there 10 20 30 40 same thing with the rotate tool so I can rotate and if I hold the shift key it will um, increment in 10 degrees same with the scale tool, I think that's actually 10%. So if I scale this and hold it down, 10% increments. And that applies to the axes as well. So if I do this, it'll do it in 10% increments. Well, what if you don't want it to be 10 centimeters for the move or 10 degrees or 10%? Um, where well, we can change that. So if we go to the mode here and go down to modeling, you'll get this screen and we get these options here one of which is mesh checking i've already done a tutorial on that i um, suggest you go check it out because the mesh checker if you're having problems with meshes especially when you export them to game engines uh, this can really help you out so go check out that tutorial i've already done um, but this is what we want the quantize so as we know when we um let's just flip this back around yeah um oh i need to go back there and I'm going to lock that off so it doesn't change. This little padlock, it stops this from uh, disappearing when you click on other stuff. So just like when we move this and hold shift, we can actually have that turned on constantly. So if you enable quantize and you can see that it moves in increments now. Um, I find it a lot more helpful just to hold shift because it's like you can toggle it on and off pretty much. So we'll just leave that off for now. Um, okay, so here you go. Here's the movement. It's set to 10 centimeters. If I set this to 50 centimeters now when I move and I hold the shift button, we've got nice 50, 50 centimeter increments. Same with the scaling tool. Um, instead of scaling up and down in 10, 10 um, uh, a 10 percent increment, we can do it in 50 or any other value you'd like if it make things easier. So you can see how that works. And the same with rotation, we can, I find that particularly useful, this one, because um, if I'm rotating and I want a 45 degree angle, I can go 10, 20, 30, 40, and uh, you know, you want something in between that. So you can change that to a five degree increment. And now I can get to 45, and there we go, we've got a perfect 45 degree angle, which is great. Uh, and now then we have the texture. Now this is specifically for the texture tool. So, and this is why this needed to be editable. So if I add a um, material to this, it's just a uh, material with a texture in the color channel and then select my, um, my uh, texture tool. I'm just gonna change the projection. I'm gonna click on this tag here. Oh, I locked it, didn't I? Click on this tag and I'm going to change it to, I don't know, flat mapping or something like that. So you can really see what's going on. And then go back to mode, modeling, and then I'll lock this off again. We can see the texture's locked at uh, 0.01. So if I move this like this and then hold shift, you can see it's incremental, it's like, but very small. Okay, so let's change this to 0.1. And now you can see that it's moving in increments of 10% pretty much. Yeah, so now we're all the way over. And you can change this to anything you like. I can 0.5. So when I move it, it should go to the halfway mark on the texture. Oh, excuse me. So move it, hold shift, bang. And we've got the, the texture at the halfway mark halfway through the object. So that's pretty much what the quantizing does. It can be really helpful. Um, so that's it, guys. It, nice, quick one. Uh, as always, you can follow me on social media. Uh, I'll put links in the description. Also, there'll be a link for my Patreon at the end of the video. Um, hit that up. Uh, there's no rewards and no goals. Only asking for a dollar a month. 
but I am posting up um, paid assets that are on my website. So there's there's one up there already. Okay, cheers, guys. Thanks for listening. Bye.